Hey everyone, welcome to Thrifted Thursday with me, Sammy, Unicorn Dust Designs. Today I am going to show you what I got at Salvation Army, Sasha Garage So Most of the Salvation Army stuff, I don't even remember what I got. The Amazing Cashier boxed everything up really good and it's just kind of been sitting around. So it's gonna be like Christmas because I don't remember what's in here. So I will post anything that I'm willing to get, give up on the website unicorndustdesigns.com and then I'll let you know things that I might hold on to to DIY or I might put some stuff in my booth. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this. Make sure to like, make sure to comment down below. It helps your girl out. And just remember, just because you add it to the cart doesn't mean it's yours. So make sure that you check out. I do want to let you guys know that I am currently in California for my brother's um, celebration of life. So I will not be packing any of these orders until we get home. So, um, please be understanding and patient with shipment time. I know usually I do it pretty darn fast. So please, um, just give me some grace on this. All the paints are back in stock. I had to take down my birdhouse though, you guys, because I needed more room for my paint. So, um, and I want to, I, you guys, I'm so sorry. So many of, of you asked about the Rusty Krusty um, case and I ended up keeping it because I talked myself into it after I was like, oh, I'm going to put books in here. And then it looked good for my staging area with that little wooden body form. But I made up for it for you guys, okay? I found an awesome one at Lewisburg Market Street when I went to go pick up my paints. So I will show you that. All right, let's get into Salvation Army stuff. And then I'll kind of, I am, I'm only going to show like a few of the garage sale stuff. A lot of it's still in the shed. So let's go to Salvation Army. I think it was purple tags were 50% off. Um, so I grabbed these. I know it's not even close to Christmas, but I guarantee once Christmas comes, I'm either not going to find stuff or it's going to be jacked up. I have seen these at Salvation Army quite a few times that I've been there and finally they were 50% off. So this was only $2.50. It was $4.98. I got it. It's in great condition. It's just like that dark metal. It almost has like that brownie tin to it. And again, a lot of this stuff now that I decided to keep my booth space, if it doesn't sell, within a week, I might pull it and put it in my booth. This one, there is a little one and this one was $3.98. So it was $2. And these are great. These are great because they could fit with any decor because of their color and their style. They're not glitzy. They're not bright. So these are great. And I will um, sell them as the set. So, uh. Let me see. Sorry. <laughs> Close up. You guys are welcome. You guys are so welcome. Comment down below if you've been thrifting lately. Okay. Here is a, the, um, the cashier at Salvation Army. She was on it, man. She wrapped all this stuff. She put it in a nice thick box for me. Um, the Salvation Army in Olathe off of Santa Fe is they're under new management. And I have to say their prices are a lot better their um, employees are so much friendlier and chatty and obviously just like the whole experience of checking out and stuff is a lot different now, which I appreciate. Okay, well, that was not, not a great surprise. There was nothing in that one. All right, let's see. Okay, I remember this one. This one kind of is like uh, Christmassy, but it's not. I think I say Christmassy because of the berries right there, but the flowers themselves are not. I loved the wood handle and I love the image. I wish these had been strawberries. That would have been gorgeous. It was $1.98, but I didn't mind. It even has a brass bell in there. That's loud. Oh my Jeez. It, this seems loose, but there's no way of... I don't think tightening it necessarily. Oh, never mind. I tightened it. And that was $1.98. I try and stay with the cell stuff, you guys, but you know, sometimes I get out. Okay, what else is in here? Okay, this one is absolutely beautiful and I might keep it for myself if it does not sell. This is hand painted. 
Do you guys see this little bowl and all of the beautiful details? Like look at even like right there, the butterflies, the grasshopper, and then it's even on the sides for my butterfly lovers. And then it has like this crackle and you guys, like you can feel the paint on here. It's absolutely gorgeous. And it's either, I don't know, I don't want to sound um, <laughs> uneducated, but Japanese, I don't know. But I will definitely look into this piece. It's gorgeous, has brass feet. I, those don't look painted. They look like they're brass feet. So this is just very unique. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And this one I paid $1.98 for. So, hey. All right, gotta be careful because I'm like, I don't know. Okay. She did good wrapping all this stuff. Let me see. What's in here? Your guess is as good as mine. This was a trip I went to with my kids. We went and we dropped off paint. I don't know. Oh, this. Okay, so I found two, no, two pieces that kind of are similar to this. This is Ansley, established 1775 England, hand-modeled fine bone china. And this was just so intricate, you guys. And I, on this one, don't think there's, oh, there's one. Do you see the little chip behind the flower? And there's like, it looks almost like paint. This is so delicate and so beautifully detailed. I knew that it was something special for sure. And it was $1.98 and this thing is heavy. It looks like the flowers are sitting in a di little dish. I definitely have to look this up. I know nothing about it, but you'll see, I know somewhere in here, there's this other piece. Um, and gosh, they're gorgeous. I love Google imaging things. And it's not even just about trying to figure out like their value. It's really about educating myself. Like, what is that? Like, what is this Ansley brand? You know, like I love learning about that stuff. This one is bigger. What are you? Oh, nah. Look at this teapot. How precious is that? The bird is very well done. We don't have any chipped beaks or tails or anything. No brand. It just says Ger Gerson International Olathe, Kansas. So I don't know if it's specifically made for a store. Looks like there might be like a little, little chip right there. But otherwise, this is in great condition. Let me take the tape. I might leave the tape on for shipping purposes, but I want to, yep, it's clean inside. Oh, it looks like there is a little bit. Do you see the, it chipped off right there and a little bit like right there, but otherwise it's super clean. And that one I did pay full price for at $6.98. I thought it was unique and I love the birds and the addition of the butterfly. So that will be posted. Anything else in this bag? One more thing. All right, feels like a hand. Maybe a kitchen utensil. Nope, way off, way off. It is an angel. Um, I got this because of the baby that she is holding. And my first thought was Mother's Day, but obviously I waited far too long to post this. Um, maybe for a mama who has lost an infant um, or even a child that has lost a mom, that could be something very special. I just love how her wings are enveloping the baby. And this was from, I don't know, Russ? I don't know. I can't read that writing, it's way too small. But it's very gorgeous. It has like these little pink details in there. Like look at how well done, like the face, her hair, her clothing, even the little features of the baby with the pink mouth. 
and I don't think there's one chip on this. And I got that for a dollar ninety-eight. You guys, I get way too much glass. All right, so this I'll show you in a minute. That's the garage sale. Let me see. What's this? Okay, this is another. This is the one that I said that I found another unique item, and I knew I had to get it because I never seen anything like it before. So. It is this bud vase, right? But the flowers are glass. All of these flowers, I'm like, they come out. There's like a little bit of styrofoam in there for them to kind of dig into, but I'm sure it is older. So there's definitely some chips on this. These are like thin, thin, thin glass. I couldn't even tell you. So there are quite a few chips on them. So you'll see right there. That one doesn't look to have any chips. This one I'm sure has chips, but you can't tell because of the type of flower. This one has like a little, so, I mean, they're not perfect by any means. And then the vase itself has all these florals. And I picked it up and I looked under it and it says made in France. And then there's a batch number 3408. I wonder if this can get cleaned off, but I have never seen anything like it, especially with glass flowers like this. And like I said, it reminded me of this, but this definitely says England, this says France. So I had to grab it. It looks like at one point there was probably leaves on these two, like these, but um, I paid $2.98 for these. And I cannot wait to look it up and see what they are, where they're from. Maybe they're worth like millions of dollars. <laughs> um, let's see what else. You guys, I don't know. I don't know what else is in here. What's this? Oh, a Florida leaf planter. I'm not doing anything to this. I think it's absolute perfection. The colors are right on point. And it was $2.98. Sometimes their planters there are, and it's from Teleflora Gifts. Sometimes their planters there are really pricey, which I'm kind of shocked about because a lot of them are like dingy and obviously used and stuff. And they're such a higher price point than a lot of things. You guys, I need my energy drink, okay? Hold on. Hold on. Hey, tell me you guys down in comments, would you be interested in dupe videos by using thrifted items? So either I might DIY some thrifted stuff to make it look like a dupe or just show you what you can find at the thrift store that's almost an exact dupe or something or inspired by. You guys know I need my energy. I love when I go to the thrift store with my children and they want something and then they totally forget about it because I got a book in here that Everett got. Diary of a Farting Creeper. Yes, I let him get it, why not? It's a Minecraft like book. <laughs> the stuff they read. All of the other, all the other creepers got together today to hang out, except me, of course. They say Stink Bomb isn't supposed to hang out with the real creeper kids. Sometimes creepers get together to find people to scare. Other creepers cut school and do it during the day. Huh. I don't know, but it's a good book. I need a, you might actually want to read that on the way to California. I'm doing this the day we leave to California. I found this, the lady of the decoration. You guys know I will not sell this. Um, it is copyright 1906, um, published April 1906, copyright is 1906, to all good sisters and to mine in particular, and look at how beautiful all those pages are in this beautiful yellow color, reminds me of Queen Bee. Books make me happy, and I, there's no price tag on this. I'm assuming like $1.98 or something maybe I paid for that. And then you guys know I have an obsession with plastics. So I got more. I got these for $2.98 each. 
I believe they're brass. Or they might be, no, they're brass. They're just gold. I'm pretty sure they're brass. They're just very patinaed. These are two, no, maybe they're not. I don't know, but they're definitely old and vintage. Yeah, they're old. So these were $2.98, oh no, I'll look them up, $2.98 each. I usually have really good luck finding brass candlesticks at that Salvation Army. And then I found these, which are gorgeous, and I don't know if I'm gonna list them because they're absolutely beautiful. So this is, I think, real silver. These things are heavy. And they say, Pool Silver Company, Rec 324. This one says the same thing. So I'm gonna look these babies up. But look at how old and detailed these are. Look at that. So gorgeous. I'm definitely, this one looks like it's damaged up top. This one is not, but these are heavy. So I'm assuming these are real silver and I'm going to look them up. They were $2.98 each and they were purple tags. So they were 50% off. Absolutely love those. Don't know if I'll part with them. And then I found a chamber stick. I always find Look at how cute this one is though. This is a mini. I've found the big ones. I've never found a little mini like this. It was $1.98. So, so stinking cute to set on. Where'd my candles go, you guys? I had the lock one. I thought right here. I mean, you guys know me and my books. But do like a book stack and you could simply set something like that with a candlestick, put a little like bundle of greenery or flowers next to it so pretty and then I found I, they are a trio so you got your the trio right here this one looks darker than the rest of them but they're definitely the matching set so it's kind of weird and these were made in Taiwan yeah they're definitely all the same just one is darker and these were $1.98 each. And you bet your booty, I'm getting these. They're gorgeous. I think I have the candlesticks, you know, that have the wick connected to each other. I think I have some that fit that in like a dark blue and something else. All right, what else did we get? Man, I thought this was going to be a little haul, so I would have had a lot to post. Oh, this is gorgeous, you guys. Look at this. Look at how pretty this is. Whether you hang it or actually use it, this is so pretty. And this, like you can fill the raised paint right there. This is so beautiful. It looks like, almost kind of looks like maybe, you know, it's old. Like it's not cracking. You could see there's no cracks in it, but you know how they start like the, there starts to get like the little hairline cracks in there kind of yeah that's what it looks like but this couldn't pass it up for the color and it was 298 certified international i don't know but that was gorgeous and it's pretty heavy and thick i guess i got plates oh this is why because they're barking gorgeous and I wanted to look them up. There's two of them. Look at this green and this gold and the florals all around. Here's the image. Is that not beautiful? Oh my gosh. I wanna have John on, no, we don't have a high enough. There is a wall on the left side of our sliding glass door in the kitchen that is blank. That would look so pretty with those small shelves, you know, so you could put like, plates and a cutting board you know that whole vibe oh this would look gorgeous and you go guys know my favorite color is green and this is ascot service plate by wood and sons england alpine white ironstone so and it's in like perfect there's not one chip or anything there's normal wear on it but just 
And then there was another one I found. There was only two of them. And the, are the florals the same? No, the florals, no, are they the same? No, they're different. So they look the same kind of, but these florals are like darker in tone. I don't know. Can you guys see that? These are like a brighter burgundy kind of. And then this is a different scene. You see that scene? Now this one has, like I said, that those hairline fractures, like you can't really, can you see them right there? Like the piece itself isn't cracked. And then this one, you can see the, I just want you guys to know in case, see all those like little hairline. I mean, the plate itself is not cracked. It's just happening. I wonder what that's called. If you guys know, tell me in the comments, because this one has it. This one. Oh, I guess it does. It's just really hard to see them. But here's what the two scenes look like side by side, just so you can see they're different. I don't know why they are tagged that way too. See, 683. So I, <gasps> that made my stomach drop. I am going to definitely look those up. Those make me excited and they make me want to keep them, but that's some self-control lady. All right, what's this? Oh, I think a bean pot. No, it's not a bean pot. It's grandma's snacks for VIP grandchildren. I thought it was so cute and I knew somebody would love it. And it is um, stoneware. Is that not the cutest little thing for like a country kitchen? Let's see, I wanna, let's see what the inside looks like, make sure. Maybe there's cookies. Cheese. Nope, super clean inside, no cracks on the lid or anything. That I thought was too cute. If I was a grandma, I would have it. Maybe one day. $4.98 is what I paid for it at Salvation Army. And again, it's stoneware. Where am I putting all this stuff? Okay. I'm happy about all of the paper because I, oh. Across. I got, can you tell? Here is this cross. This was $2.98. You see, it just has, I thought it was different. The beads in the middle. And it's, it's not real wood. Um, I don't know what this would be considered, but I just thought that the beads were really different. It's in great condition. So I figured, you know what, I'm going to get it. I might not go through the garage sale stuff, you guys, because... Um, then I'll have a lot of stuff to list and mama don't got time. What's this? Oh, so I've spotted this. I don't know how many times, but it's, how much is it? Where are you? It's been $4.98 and I was like, I'm not paying $4.98 for it. I'm sorry. And it finally is 50% off. So it was $2.50. Now I don't know why I love this so much. I think it's because it reminds me of a crock or something and just even the texture and stuff and the weight of it it's definitely a crock pottery i i don't know so it's definitely something handmade you could see it but the whole thing is glazed and it has this little cork to it and i love the color of it and i don't know why i just I've loved it since I saw it, but I was like, I'm not paying $4.98 for that. And it was 50% off, so I finally got it. And this you can style just like I did with those other jugs that sold on the last haul from the flea market. Um, it, it's gonna look gorgeous, but you know, I might keep it too, I don't know. I'm like, I've been eyeing you for a while, I deserve it. All right, this came with all these florals. And there was a part of me that was like, okay, just put the florals like on the shelf and just get the pot. But I was like, mm, you just never know. So I got it because of the Florida lease container. That's the only reason I wanted it. And it was for $3.98. And then 
it came with all this Christmas floral inside of it. And some of them, like these um, pine branches are actually really nice. And then the bear, like there's berries in here. All of these right here are like brand new. Uh, they have tags still on them from Hobby Lobby. And, oh, well, we don't need that one. Um, yeah, so there's just like a bunch of different things in here that I'm like, oh, I feel like if I clean it up, I can definitely reuse them. Even some of this stuff just around like the booth during Christmas. Um, still got stuff wrapped up. So I was like, whatever. Like that would be for the price, $3.98 to put the flowers back. I'm like, no, just take it. So I will put the container up. That's what the container looks like. It's a beautiful color and it doesn't have any dents. It says it's from the Global Market Ki Kitchen Collection. Utens it's a utensil holder, I guess. So, geez. I'm like, come on, where am I gonna put all those florals? Okay, then they had, um, I don't know where these came from. I think they came from, so there was, they had this big, um, cart out and it said the smaller framed photos were two dollars and the bigger ones were four dollars so i grabbed them because one i wanted to do one of the uh dupe using thrift store stuff and some of these photos reminded me well one of them did of something i could do but i found this for 3.98 and i have been having the best luck finding these old old photo frames and this did not disappoint. So it is old, you guys. It is cracking. It is gorgeous. The image inside is in another language, uh, but the imagery is absolutely beautiful. And then you can tell it's old because look at this frame. Look at how gorgeous that is. And I always want to, this one, um, I would actually have to get something out and bend these nails back because I like looking under this stuff because you never know what you're going to find. So I will definitely do that. If I find anything exciting, I'll let you know. But is that glass? Yeah, I think so. So I've got this, I think for $2 or I could have paid the $3.98. I would have paid the $3.98. So maybe I did, but absolutely gorgeous. And then I found this one, which I feel like could be a dupe because so many of these types of photos are being used in kitchens right now. And they're on a lot of high-end sites. So I grabbed it because it was $4. And the imagery, of course, is beautiful. You can see like the china behind here, very, very French country vibes all of the china up here the beautiful detail work in like the hutch it's beautiful and the mat is pretty the frame is pretty it's gorgeous look at that how beautiful is that and then this is the frame and you can't this one is a covered photo so you cannot do anything with it unfortunately and I mean that like take it out and clean the glass on the inside and everything like that. But for $4, that was gorgeous. And then I got this one, which I thought was so different. Like the, even the frame, it was $5.98. I think it was out of that bin. So it was $4.98. Here's the photo. Loved the rustic wood element. Look at the bird with the broom the sneakers, the watering can, like the beautiful arrangement of flowers. And I like that it is um, like muted, you know, it's not bright. I do, this is Norman Rockwell. And then the mat in here almost looks like a tweed or like a burlap. And then look at the frame. Do you see how cool this wood frame is with this floral design? It's gorgeous. And again, this is a covered photo as well. It does have a sawtooth hanger in it, but I thought this was absolutely gorgeous. Litho in USA. So I'll have to look that up. And I got this one just to paint 
I do not like this very, very gold frame. This is definitely newer. Somebody spray painted it. Um, it was, this one I did pay $3.98 for, but the mat in here is done very well. And love the little photo with the little baby booty, the cherub, but it's weird because the front of the frame isn't spray painted, but you, the back is. So that's kind of weird, but I don't like this glossy, cheap gold looking frame. So we are going to paint this, probably do some like salt wash and make it look a little bit more aged. And it already has a hanger on the back ready to go. So we're just gonna play around with this frame and then I will be selling that. So that was $3.98. And you guys, that is the haul. 30 minutes I know. Next haul, I probably won't have one out next week because I'm not gonna be home in time. But I'll show you some garage sale finds and then we hit Salvation Army up again this week. So, uh, oh, and can I just tell you guys a quick story? So we were at Salvation Army and just, uh, we were at Salvation Army and Everett, he sees this little coffee mug and he's like, mom, look, this coffee mug says world's best teacher. And it would look like a nineties coffee mug, like had the notebook paper on it with like the bright crayon, like colors, you know? And he goes, look, it even has the purple tag. And I just smiled so big that like he was just so thoughtful and like saw that and wanted to get it for his teacher. And it makes me so proud because Everly like did the same thing, not at the thrift store, but on our way to the thrift store, she was like, my teacher's birthday is Friday. Can I get her like a present? I was like, what were you thinking? She goes, she really likes Target and maybe I could get her some Coca-Colas cause she likes that. And it really just made me so proud that like my kids are growing up to be thoughtful human beings and um, just, you know, Everly like paying attention to like what her teacher likes and enjoys. It's just like those little things that make me just so proud that like, I feel like I'm doing something right with them, you know? Oh, and you guys really quick, I, I hauled this too, but I needed somewhere to put my paint brushes. Oh. That didn't break. <laughs> I hauled this cute glass. I don't even know what this would be with like the one handle on it. Cause I, I was almost like, is the other handle broken? No, it's not. It was $5.98 and it's so beautiful. There's a little, little chip on here, but I don't even know if I'll get rid of it because it is perfect for holding all of the DIY paint brushes. <laughs> So I got that for $5.98 and I really liked it and I bought it to uh, post for resale. It feels like it has a chip over there. Okay, you guys hop onto the website. Thank you guys for joining me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul um, and I look forward to packing your orders when we get back from California. I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing weekend and I will talk to you soon. Bye.